The Science of Being Well by Wallace D. Wattle. Chapter 8. Summary of the Mental Actions. Let me now summarize the mental actions and attitudes necessary to the practice of the science of being well. First, you believe that there is a thinking substance from which all things are made and which, in its original state, permeates, penetrates, and fills the interspaces of the universe. This substance is the life of all and is seeking to express more life in all. It is the principle of life of the universe and the principle of health in man. Man is a form of this substance and draws his vitality from it. He is a mind-body of original substance permeating the physical body and the thoughts of his mind-body control the functioning of his physical body. If a man thinks no thoughts save those of perfect health, the functions of his physical body will be performed in a manner of perfect health. If you would consciously relate yourself to the all health, your purpose must be to live fully on every plan of your being. You must want all that there is in life for body, mind, and soul, and this will bring you into harmony with all the life there is. The person who is in conscious and intelligent harmony with the all will receive a continuous inflow of vital power from the supreme life, and this inflow is prevented from, by angry, selfish, or antagonistic mental attitudes. If you are against any part, you will have severed relations with all. You will receive life, but only instinctively and automatically, not intelligently and purposefully. You can see that if you are mentally antagonistic to any part, you cannot in complete harmony with the whole. Therefore, as Jesus directed, be reconciled to everybody and everything before you offer worship. Want for everybody all that you want for yourself. The reader is recommended to read what we have said in a former work concerning the competitive mind and the creative mind. It is very doubtful whether one who has lost health can completely regain it so long as he remains in the competitive mind. Being on the creative or goodwill plane in mind, the next step is to form a, con a conception of yourself as in perfect health, and to hold no thoughts which are not in full harmony with this conception. Have faith that if you think only thoughts of health, you will establish in your physical body the functioning of health, and use your will to determine that you will think only thoughts of health. Never think of yourself as sick, or as likely to be sick. Never think of sickness in connection with yourself at all, and as far as may be shut out of your mind, all thoughts of sickness in connection with others. Surround yourself as much as possible with the things which suggest the ideas of strength and health. Have faith in health and accept health as an actual present fact in your life. Claim health as a blessing bestowed upon you by the supreme life, and be deeply grateful at all times. Claim the blessing by faith. Know that it is yours, and never admit a contrary thought to your mind. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.